like I said to you earlier in this uh, blog, I'm going to be showing you how I set up the Chodrick without lead core. First thing you need is 20 pound X line. Just run it through your fingers, like so. It just takes out all the kinks and that. Because you want this laying like nice and tight on the deck. Then you want a 4mm bead. The float stop, put your bead on. Then the float stop. Which are these are the shocker shocker ones. You then put it on. I've already done this. As you can see, there they are together. All you've got to do next is just marry them together, twist. This then, this is safe, but then this, you can move this stop for, for any distance you desire. So the chod, the, the chod hook bait can be like up to eight to 10 foot away, which is what I like doing. The next thing is uh, I use a micro ring swivel. Or you can use a size 11 ring swivel and put that on. This is all easy stuff. And there's two 8mm beads. And then put them on. Right, to marry this lot together, I, I like to use a 4mm ring there. But you could, that could be a swivel, anything. You then like, just tie that on. I use a four turn grid or not. Remember, always wet your knots. Right, th this is the link. Because you don't want, I don't want the lead anywhere down here like a lot of people fish. Because under the rod tip, that lead can come into play and you can lose the fish. So I like to have it hanging down here. So it's underneath there and that stops that happening. And then, uh, next thing you do is you put your, your lead on. I always use as small as lead as I possibly can. So that's an ounce and I like square leads because with it being so small you get a better like fit touch down so you can feel better what you're actually fishing over and when you pull all this down like so that's the finished rig but this this bit here on the the ring to the lead, this can be like um, two, three pound bottom if you're fishing snags, lilies, etc. So I like to have that running. So I'd move that stop there, so you can see how it comes away really easy. Put that stop, and I'll move that eight to ten foot away. And there you go. That's your running chod without lead core. As you can see, that's the finished chod. I'm gonna get into like tying the actual hook link up and that, and all the components and how to curve it and how to knot it on, either in the next blog or the next blog. I can't give all my secrets away in one blog. Anyway, it keeps you coming back for some more. Um, the only thing you've got to remember is once it's done, you haven't got the, the weight of the lead core, because you use a um, mono to sink the hook bait. So all you do is use some like putty and you mould that round. Um, a little thing when you're curving it as well, uh, is, is to like wet your hand with some saliva and that, that stops it from actually um, ripping this about a lot. Puts a film over it so you can then curve it right, yeah? And then keep, keep it in position. But basically that's what I'm looking at, about two and a half inch hook link, no more. And then you've just got to have that bit of putty on the end, round the, round the knot end, right? Yeah, because you want you've got to have it to sink. Because if you don't, if you think about it, with the mount, that'll be like a pop up off the lead. So um, that, that's the way forward. And I'd always um, make sure that the pop the pop up isn't like slow sinking. A lot I want it to actually sink, so it's nailed. Because I haven't got the lead core to hold that hook in position on the bottom lip.